Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Well, I can see that we I have Edwin, Wendy, and Obed. I will wait or oh, let us wait for the rest of the people. Okay, we're gonna wait a couple of minutes, all right? Good evening, ladies. Okay, we're gonna wait a couple of minutes, all right? Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Carlos. How are you doing? It's fine? It's fine. Okay, willing to start a new journey, right? A new, a new class. I have Luis, I have Edwin, Wendy, Obed, ladies, and Carlos. I have six people connected. I'm still waiting for the rest. Well, meanwhile, the rest of the people got there. Let me see, Luis, uh, do you remember about last class? We studied something related to uh, prepositions, right? We also studied about how to tell the time in English. Do you remember? Well, tonight it was, it's like four or five minutes after eight. Jennifer, good evening. Hello, Jennifer. Hi, teacher. Hi. So we're going to start, okay, with a, with a new topic, with a new journey. Uh, this week, 
is the last week for basic English one. And I, I was just checking the activities, right, that you have been developing in, in, in a platform. And I was, and I, and I saw that there are some of you who haven't finished all of them. Okay, I highly recommend you to go and, and complete the activities in the platform, okay? Hasta it, it, número, eh? Sorry, Carlos. Hasta qué número es la, tenemos pendiente la plataforma? Well, it, actually, you have to finish all of them. Yeah, all of them, to, I mean, this week. Uh, a estas alturas, ya que estamos a la cuarta semana, ya el propósito de ustedes debe ser terminarse todo, todas las actividades de cada, de cada nivel. Ok. Ok, ya estamos prácticamente la última semana. Y este, estuve verificando el, el fin de semana de, de las actividades que, que ustedes han realizado y veo que hay algunos que todavía pues tienen actividades pendientes. De suma importancia que ustedes lo, lo completen y este, para que no vayan a tener alguna dificultad al final del módulo. Ah, uh, let's see, people are chatting on it. Says, yo ya las envié, says Wendy. Ok, Wendy. Uh, ok. Les decía que esta semana prácticamente es la última. Hoy tenemos, esta semana tenemos el final test. Y este, hay que obtener los mejores resultados, ¿verdad? Eh, recordarles que siempre hay que estar este, conectado durante los 120 minutos en la medida que sea posible, ¿verdad? Sabemos que hay algunas dificultades en ocasiones, alguna, algún fallo técnico, pero este, de igual manera se les hace el llamado a que siempre estén presentes. Para INSAFOR es de suma importancia su asistencia a las claro. clases y el desarrollo de las actividades. Recuérdense que todo eso queda registrado y este es es muy valioso para nosotros su, su, su presencia, ¿verdad? Su, su um, interés, su... Mi cabrón. Carlos. Sorry, sorry. Ah, ok. Ok, su participación, etcétera. Es sumamente importante. Uh, ok, I can see some other people who are just getting connected. I can see Carla, I can see uh, Esperanza. You told me you are sick, right? Uh, I hope you get better soon. I hope it. Jennifer. Okay. Well, guys, I hope that we can have a great time together. Uh, I will share some info that's going to be presented to you tonight. Okay. The last week we were talking about the different activities, right? We did we do in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. We were also talking about some vocabulary over here, vocabulary that we studied previously. We uh had some review about double H question words such as what, when. Where, why, which, who, all right? So that you can, so that you could uh, create something with the information there. We were talking also about uh, an email, okay? And this is what we uh, paid special attention last time, right? It was about preposition, prepositions of time. And we discovered that with all of the days of the week, we use on, right? When we provide specific dates, we need to use on. On January the 23rd, then on Monday, February the 5th, on Wednesday morning, etc. right? But if you do not provide any specific time, when talking, then you, I mean, if you say the month, but you don't say the spe specific date, 
you, you can say in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning, okay? And at, uh, we said that at is used to talk about the time, at 2.30, at noon, at night, at midnight. And that's what we were studying people, okay? We uh, were uh, practicing a lot about, about this, okay? So tonight, we're gonna be able to continue talking about prepositions. But before going to that, to those prepositions, okay? Let me see if, if we can, if we can go over this exercise. Yeah, we can go with there, right? So I, I thought I was impossible for me. So give me one second, please. I will share it. I will try to introduce the class by having uh, some exercises, right? Now, what do you see over here, people? What do you see over here? What do you see there, people? Only one person, please. Not everybody at the same time. What do you see? A map. Ah, there's a map over there, right? There is a map. I can see a map. What do you see in the map? What do you see in the map? Different places? Papa. Yeah, uh, there's a map there, but what do you see in the map? What kind of map is that one? The pharmacy. Ah, you see a pharmacy over there? Coffee. You have a cafe. Hotel. You have a hotel. Bus station. Uh, there's a bus station. High school. High school. Parking lot. There's a parking Daddy. lot. Mall. There's a park. mall, there's a park. Museum. This, there is a museum, a supermarket. computer shop, a supermarket. Sport wow, club. a lot of places, right? What do you think is this? The right. right. Uh, this is a river, river. right? This is a river, right? I river. remember about Lepa River. <laughs> okay, so... We're gonna go over this, okay? Because we're gonna listen something related to, to this, right? So there's a pre-listening activity over here and it says also watching movies online from the comfort. No, this is not this. Like, this is the one. Do we have some questions, okay? What is the attraction that draws people to the movies? Oh, this is a good one, right? What is the attraction that draws people to the movies? How much do movie tickets cost in your area? And what do people like to do before or after seeing a movie? Wow, this is a good, it seems to be a good one, a good, a good exercise. Now, when is Steven going now with Jennifer? You will decide if he says Sunday, Sunday, Saturday, or, or Friday. Where's the movie theater? Say four, one, twelve, or two. Then where is the restaurant located? Now you see different different rooms, right? What time does the restaurant close on Sundays? Okay, you have three options at 12 or at noon, at 10 30 p.m. or at 11 p.m. Where's the florist? Say, and that's it, right? So this is quite simple. I will I will play the track, okay, and then you listen to it carefully. I don't listen, teacher. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I committed a mistake. Give me one second. Give me one second, please. Once again, 
Second time. Yep, this is the one. Uh, now I see. I think I, I could solve it. I'm sorry. I apologize. Here we go. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, now uh, you listen to the audio, but you were not seeing the, the, the map, right? So now we're going to listen to the audio and we're going to see the map. Let's listen again. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. Now, how was it? Too fast? How was it? How was the audio all about? Oh, what's, what's the audio all about? What is the audio all about, people? Hablando sobre una ubicación. Okay, they are talking about locations. Okay, directions. And... They are talking about a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we got like a very general info. Okay, so we let's go over it. When is Steve going now with Jennifer? On Sunday Saturday. or on Saturday or on Friday? Saturday. Saturday? Yep. Okay, so she is, uh, she's like, uh, all right. She is going now with Jennifer right. on Saturday. Well, Steve said, well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a day for this coming Saturday night. Good. Where's the movie theater? Where is the movie theater over here? Want to listen to it again? This is number one, number two, number three, number four. Where's number four? Number four, so here. Number five. Okay, number five, so here. Number six. is over here, nearby the sports club. Number seven. Mm. 
where is number seven? Uh, so here, uh, next to the museum, number eight, uh, just um, nearby the computer shop, shop number nine, so here, 10, oh, let's see, number 11, it's 11, so here, 12, 13, 14 and 15. I think those are the, the numbers. Do you want to listen to it again? Where is the movie theater? Listen to it, please, so that we can get a 10 there. Listen. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing, where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great, thanks a lot. All right, now, this is the third time we have here at the audio. Now, did you get it? Did you get it, people? Where's the movie theater? Is that the number one, number four, number one, number 12, or number two? Number one. It's number one. So, did you say that it is located over here? Is it located over here? Yes or no? No. <laughs> Listen, it says, where's the movie theater? Movie theater. According to what you hear. And you have number different one. options. Number, number one. one. Yeah. Okay, so number one, you said number one. Where I will click on the number one so that we can see what's going on there. Ah, uh, well. Well, actually, actually it is, or it was number 12. Number 12, yeah. where is it? Number 12 over here. Okay, number 12. It's over here. Yeah. Number 12. Now, take a look at the next, please. Well, it says, where's the movie theater? Okay, it was number 12, right? And then we have, where is the restaurant located? Do you want to see the map? Where's the restaurant located? I will play the track the last time so they can uh, you can pick it up or pick uh, small details, okay, and, and get the general idea about it. I will play it again. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital? Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay, then what? Okay, 
Then turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay, I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks a lot, right? Okay, what's going on, people? Uh, now, I, I think you got it, right? So, where is the restaurant located? Where is it? Hello, where's the restaurant people? Mm -hmm. Where is the restaurant located? In the map. Where's the restaurant? Hello, people. Hey, Carlos, no, let me see. I have Daniel. Daniel, where is the where is the restaurant located in the map? The restaurant people. Carlos. Okay. Yeah, now. Where is the restaurant located in this map? Uh, okay. Huh? Uh, okay. Number? One. Number number one again, but it cannot be number one because uh, I think... I oh, know that this, this was, was number number 12, right? You chose one mm -hmm. and it was, that it was mistaken, right? Now, let me see. The movie theater on the second building on the right is next to the church. Now, the restaurant located. Number, oh, wow. people. Number 6, 8, 14, or 11. We're trying to get where the restaurant is in the in the in the in the map. Uh huh. Where is the restaurant? Restaurant. Restaurant. Do you wanna listen the last time? We're gonna listen. Listen to it the last time. Hey, Renee, do you happen to know where the movie theater is downtown? The one near the hospital. Yeah, why do you want to know? Well, on Monday, I asked Jennifer out on a date for this coming Saturday night. Wow, you've really been seeing a lot of her lately. Sounds great. Okay, write down these directions so you don't get lost. Okay, go ahead. First, drive down First Street going west. Cross the river and keep going straight until Pine Street. Until Pine Street, right? Right. Then turn left. And the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the church. Second building on the right. Got it. Now, can you recommend any nice restaurants? Yeah, the Pink Flamingo serves excellent Spanish food. Well, where's that? Well, starting from the movie theater, go south on Pine Street, cross 2nd Street, and drive to 3rd Street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay so far? A parking lot on the left. Okay. Then what? Okay. Then, turn left on 3rd Street and drive east. The Pink Flamingo is the building just before the river on the left side. I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning to 11.30 at night, but it stays open until midnight on weekends. Okay. I think I've driven by there before. Oh, last thing. Where can I buy some flowers? We're going to out to celebrate Jennifer's birthday. Well, the only florist I know is in front of the stadium on 2nd Street. Try that one. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay, that was the fourth time we listened to it. And we have answered. Uh, the first one was correct. The second one 
was a mistake, right? Because we said it was a different one. He says, right then you turn left and the movie theater is the second building on the right. It's next to the chart. That was number, the second activity, right? Now, what about the restaurant people? Where is it located? A teacher, a restaurant, a 14. 14, okay. Wow, there was 11. He says, what, well, starting from the movie theater, Starting for the movie theater. Go south on Pine Street, cross Second Street and drive to the third street. You'll see a parking lot on the left side of the street. Okay, so far? Okay, so you see the restaurant was not located there. So, we have two mistakes. Let's go over the next. What time does the restaurant close on Sundays? At noon, at 1.30 or at 11 p.m.? At 11 p.m. All right. Wow, people. So the thing with the queer, just um, having a bad time with the listening because he says, I think it's open weekdays from 10.30 in the morning yes. to 11.30 at night. But it stays open until midnight on the weekends, okay? Yeah. So it was at, I, I mean, at noon, uh, at, at midnight, sorry. Now, where is the florist? Where's the florist? Maybe you need, let's see, let's do something. Maybe you need to have the, Okay. So it's over here, right? Now, what time does this restaurant close? At at noon. And it says good try. So actually we, we have already finished with this activity. I tried to introduce in on at with this audio, right? And with this map. Later you are going to create your own. You will see. So we're done with this one, right, people? Okay, and coming back to our topic, right? Ah, well, there are different, different parts or different buildings in our city. Can you mention some, people? Can you mention some? I have. What is it? At the back. We uh, have it, a bank. What else do we have? What else do we have? Aha, uh -huh. what else do we have? First one, we have a bank. Second one? Uh, there's a mall. There's a mall. Now, so far so good, right? Then we have sport palace, a park, school, church, it is the city hall, right? I hope you, you recognize that vocabulary. Otherwise you should look for a meaning of those words. Now we have restaurant, we have a arrows company and book world. Now, by using the map, you need to answer these questions, okay? Which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the city hall on? 
And which street is the park on? Okay, so I'll be doing it there. I will give you like five minutes, okay? Cinco minutos para que puedan resolver este ejercicio. Okay, page 39. ¿Ya la tienen? Yes. Hello? The pitch is the 39, people. 39. Okay, I will give you five minutes. Remember, five, we only have three questions, okay? I hope that you are there and you that you are uh, working in the exercise. I can see Daniel, Carlos, Edwin, Esperanza, Evelyn, Gabriela, Jennifer, Juan Carlos, Carla, Maria, ladies, Luis Reyes, Sobel, eh, Wendy Trejo, and Jennifer Hernandez. So be ready, please, because I will I will ask you to provide the answers, okay? Tienen cinco minutos para terminar el ejercicio. Okay, I, I, okay. I hope you are uh, solving the exercise, people. Now, which street is the uh, is the restaurant on? You will let me know through the chat.
Yeah, okay, so I'm giving you some time, okay? That's why I have my, my microphone deactivated so that you can complete the activities in the in the chat. Edwin says Roosevelt Street is uh, in front of Arrow's company. Carlos said it's between Second Avenue. Mm. Is that the answer for second one? Okay, it's a city hall. It's a city hall, uh, Carlos, in which, in which number? So maybe you are you were seeing about this, right? So it is the city hall. Let's see if we have something here. Which street is in the park on? Well, if you see, this is a new talk, a new map, right? We saw a map uh, previously, right? So this is the other uh, map. We have a bank, we have a mall, we have a restaurant, a sport place, a park, Arrows Company, street, I mean, school, church, city, book, world. That's on the second avenue now. <laughs> Well, do me the favor to verify these these questions, okay, and these answers because well I have I have more info about this topic, okay? I have more info. So you see, for example, it is on when you are uh, providing directions, right? Where is it? It's on Fourth Avenue. Okay, it's on the corner of it's on the left up. Now that's a different way to use to, to use preposition. Let me see. Okay, thank you, Esperanza. Okay. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Okay. Then we say, for example, when giving directions, I mean. You can use different vocabulary such as on Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work, or at the park, at the bank. Okay. So then do me the favor to complete it. And now what are you gonna do in here? You're gonna you're gonna create. This is your turn, right? This is your turn section. You're fun. Okay, create your own map with the workplace or on it and the places, buildings, and others that surround it. Show and explain your map to others. Va, vamos a hacer algo. Voy a uh, dejar de presentar y vamos a trabajar en eso. Create your own map. Va a crear el mapa con el lugar de trabajo En, en él y los lugares que están así aledaños pueden ser lugares en sí o pueden ser edificios en others that, that surround it y otras que lo lo envuelven show and explain your map to other partners De, enseña y explica tu mapa a otros compañeros ya estamos llegando ahí verdad and create a role play in purse, explaining where you work, location, street, and present it to the class. Aquí sí, vamos a trabajar en parejas. Miren, dice que creemos una situación en parejas explicando eh, tu trabajo. Okay, 
uh, su ubicación, la calle, la ciudad, etc. Present it to the class. Y la vamos a presentar a la clase. ¿Que ¿Estamos listos? Are we ready? Uh, teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, fíjese que yo estoy trabajando ahorita. No podría participar en lo del mapa. Porque estoy en el trabajo. Ok, so let's do it. Let's do individual work then. Okay? okay. I think it's better. We're not going to create any role play. No, no, no role play. No. But you are going to create... Uh, uh, you're going to uh, explain where is your work located and you're going to present it to the class. So we're not going to work in person. It's going to be individual work, okay? Individual work exercise. Well, actually it is... Give me one second because I, I had it already. Well, no, yeah, it's really... okay. Now, I think then we're going to move first to this exercise, which is. Create uh, you, your own map with the workplace or on it and the places, buildings, and others that surround it. Show and explain your map to others in English. So we're gonna we're gonna do it individual work. Vamos a trabajar de manera individual, okay? En el punto seis. ¿Les parece? Eso está en la página 40. It is page 40. So the exercise is, let me see. Mm, that's so okay. Create a map with your workplace on it and the places building and others surrounding it. Show and explain your map to the other classmates. Okay. Van a que van a tener unos cinco o siete minutos. Okay, para trabajar en ese mapa del lugar donde usted trabaja y presentarlo a los compañeros acá en la sesión. Ok. So, let us work on it. Siete minutos para resolver estas dos oraciones. O estos dos ejercicios. Ok. Seven minutes, people. Individual work.
Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing with your mop? Okay, I hope that you have a uh, cutting something there, right? So we need we need to continue. Okay, I need volunteers, okay, to share the information. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Carlos, go ahead. You arrive at the Central Park. You go straight, five block, and you will take a left. And the t other left is from the restaurant Amanecer Marino. That's it. Thank you, Carlos. That was fantastic. Any other any other participant? Hello, hello. Any other participant? Hello, guys. Jessica, okay, we have Wendy. Hello, Wendy, go ahead. Hello. Okay. I work at La Bermeja Cemetery at Boulevard Venezuela, number 1670, three blocks about the Los Ilacio Cemetery on the Unleven Passage near Superman Park in front of a cargo. Okay, thank you, Wendy. Thanks for your participation. What about the rest? What about the rest, people? No more participants. Jennifer Rivas. No, right. It's, it's, let's see. Okay, talking, talking about it. Okay, so we actually finished with this. Okay. We continue with this conversation. Okay, and it goes like this. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Millburn building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are for buildings. Which which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. Have a, I have to ask uh, you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye bye. So that was the first conversation, right? About uh, giving directions in English. So we're gonna uh, work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en, en parejas. Sí, vamos a tratar de reproducir esa conversación en la página 41, ¿verdad? Number one. Can we stop sharing over here? Okay, so the page we're gonna start working is the page, give me one second. 41, right? So it's a 41. Okay, you will practice the vocabulary. Van a practicar la conversación. Si tienen dudas con alguna, eh, con algo de pronunciación, pues ahí tienen... Uh, eh, el internet a la mano lo pueden utilizar, ok 
¿Va cuánto tiempo? Vamos a utilizar five minutes, ¿ok? Five minutes will be alright. Cinco minutos para que practiquen esta conversación. Uh, vamos a trabajar en parejas en un minuto. Give me a second, please. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so let's start. It will be in pairs, right? So I have 15, so it will be like seven pairs. Here we go. Let's go there. Okay.
Okay, okay, okay. Now, do you finish? Do you finish, people? Well, a mí me tocó solo en la sala. Ah, you, you worked alone. Pero trabajé aquí con mi señora. Excellent, Carlos. That's what I, what I, I really appreciate it. Carlos, do you want to share it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Can you help me? They're in the Melon building. I Did don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building main street. I know it. It is down the street on the left side. Think I have to ask you something. Else there are in train center. There are a lot of uh, training center on the buildings between May and King Street. Street. I have some interim for you. There, thank you again. Bye bye. Good, quite good. Excellent. Now it's, it's let me see. Let me see because I have info in the chat. That's okay. Yes, I can I, I could notice that there were some people who who were not able or who was not able to, to work with. Wow. Well, well over here, as you can see, we have there is and there are. There are four buildings. Is there a training center? And there are a lot of training centers. Okay, so it is involved. That means that's uh, quite important. Okay, to, to put it into practice, okay? In the conversation, we have some some uh, information that's useful to complete this exercise. How many how many build meal burn buildings are there? Who can help me? There are four buildings. Excellent. There are four buildings, and as you could notice, it is important to complete. I mean, to provide complete sentences. There are four Melbourne buildings. Good. Now, where is the building and where will it wants to go located? Hello? Where's the building? Now it says, hello, can I help? Uh, can you help me? Where's the memo building? I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it, it's down the street on the left side. Thanks, I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again, bye-bye. Okay. Where's the building where uh, Will wants to go located? The main street. The one, okay. Right. 
the building on the main street. Exactly. The building on the main street. Good. The building on the main street. Good. And the last one, how many training centers are there? Where are they? How many people? How many training centers? Let's say um, here don't work. There are there are four buildings. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of training training centers. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of uh, there are a lot of training centers where on the building between May and June Street. Mm -hmm. It says four, right? There are four. That's it. And the rest of the answer, there are four. And the rest of the answer says that They are between the main, the main and King Street. Where are they? Okay, over here was set up for. They are between Main and King Street. Okay, it will be something like that, right? Did you get it? Yep. Yeah, all right. So we I think we're done with it. Hey. Let me see the chat. Somebody said, okay. Thank you, Esperanza. You were right. Well, um, There are different uh, places in the town, right? I will share this. Okay. And we're gonna start talking with, uh, oops. Now it's different different maps over here, right? You have different maps. And for example, the question says, look at the map and decide. We're gonna solve only one, let me see. Like two or three of them, okay? Look at the map and decide if the statements are right or wrong. That's quite good, right? That cafe is next to the bank. The cafe is next to the bank. 
Is that right? The cafe is next to the bank. Is that correct or incorrect? Excellent, Edwin. I can see you're interacting in the chat also. Now, but the statement says, people, uh, the statement says, statement number one, let me see, it says, The cafe is next to the bank. The cafe next to the bank. Correct or incorrect? It's correct. Are right. you sure? In the phone, in the bank. Okay, it may be across the street, right? Mm -hmm. it, it is not next to, but you need to cross the street. So this one is wrong. Number two, the police station is between the bank and the chemist. The police station, okay, it's a police station is over here, right? And it says, the police station is between the bank and the chemist. Bank, correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct. Right. So this is right. Let's go over the next map. In the next map says the train station is next to the restaurant. Train station next to the restaurant. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Right. So, but you need to be clear about what is next, right? Because next yeah. is yeah, it's it's over here, right? So the town hall is next to the train station, but the restaurant is. Como dicen detrás de? Otra, the back. Yeah, but that, there is a there's an expression to to say it. It is behind. It is behind. Behind. Yeah, and the last one. Mm -hmm. So it's because you know, you are going to create your own your own a uh, map, and you will create a conversation. Well, actually, I don't know if, if we're going to work in, in pairs because last time it didn't function. The question is, the hospital, the hospital is next to the hotel. The hospital is next to the hotel. Yes or no? Yes. Next. It is, I think, the same we did with the other one, right? It's not exactly next to, but it's like, a, 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 it's across okay. the street. It's across the street. Okay. I mean, you are neighbors, uh, they are neighbors, but not exactly, they are not exactly tied to one another. Well, actually, this, is, this was one of the exercises, but I, I have some info first. Well, now I think we have done our best with this part. And we're gonna go over at the end, sorry, we're gonna go over the explanation of there is and there are. Who can help me uh, to read? Number one. Number one. There is an ATM across the street. There is an ATM across the street, good. Number two. Mm 
Number Ray two. Was named center on the corner of Russell Street and Fear Avenue. Thank you. The next one. There's no clothing factory around the corner. Thank you. Then that this is used with singular form, as you can see. There is an NTM, okay? There is only one. There is a restaurant. There is only one there. There is no clothing. There is there are there, there is no clothing, right? And on the other side, we have the plural form. There are a lot of there are a lot of companies down the street. Uh, there are some supermarkets on the right and left or side of the street. There are no hospitals on, on Barrio Street. And that's it, right? So it's, it's simple like that. It is very simple. You decide where, I, I mean, you choose this one when you, you, when you uh, use singular nouns. And you use there are with plural nouns. Simple like that. Now, do me the favor, okay, do me the favor to work in this part, okay? And after that, well, if we still have time, cuando terminen esta parte, que es el ejercicio 5, van a empezar a trabajar en un mapa donde ustedes viven, así como nos ha estado presentando el libro. Ok, algo así. Ok, you have, you include the band, the, the school, palace, school, church, city, hall, etc. Right? Y nos lo van a explicar. O sea que necesitamos que localicen, digamos, en un mapa, los diferentes lugares y que reconozcan también cómo ubicar uno en específico. This is, uh, I mean, this is a place for you to work, right? Well, we started about um, the way to use prepositions of time, right? Uh, on, in, and at. And it happens that, we're gonna, uh, that we can use them also to provide specific information when providing uh, an address. On, you have some examples there. On 4th Avenue, on the corner of, on the street, on. In, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in a neighborhood. Next part, at the meeting room, at work, and at a bank. So there are some, some examples, right, on how to use simple prepositions of place. Now, over here is where you, you need to talk, right? You need to create your own map with your, with you, I mean, create your own map with you, workplace on it. And the places, buildings and others that surround it and show and explain your map to other partners, okay? So eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Van a crear su propio mapa, okay? Para ubicar su casa y decirnos Oh, perdón, en su lugar de trabajo y decirnos um, qué otros lugares o qué otros edificios se encuentran a su alrededor. Ok. Ok, you have, you will have like 10 minutes. Vamos a invertir 10 minutos en esto. En crear su propio mapa y decirnos en dónde está ubicado eh, su lugar de trabajo. 
Okay, you have 10 minutes to start working with. Okay, I hope you're working on that. You're still missing seven minutes, okay? You need to create your own map with uh, with your workplace on it and the places or the buildings and others that surround it, that surround it. Show and explain your map to the other classmates, okay? That's what we are working on tonight. Tenemos que hacer el croquis o solo hablado? Well, uh, you have to create it. You you have to create a map, okay? You have to okay. create it.
Okay, five minutes. Five minutes more, I'm sorry. Five minutes and then we start, okay? Quit your map about the workplace. Okay, time is over. Time is over. Okay. Now time to share the information you got in, in a in a in a bar. I will stop sharing and I will ask some of you to present, okay? I can see Luis wants to share to say something, but uh, clearly he has he has problems with his audio. And with his microphone. Now, volunteers. Hello, hello. Yo. 
Okay, Carlos. Wow, this this tonight it's been your 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 night. You have been participating a lot. Congratulations, Carlos. Carlos, go Thank ahead. You. My place of work is you arrive in the central park. You go straight five block block and the and and you are going to take left and the mother left in the front the restaurant Amanece Marina is the net the hospital de la Union Fosalo on the same street as the Parque de la Familia. Wow, very detailed information about the place you work. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other participant? Please, please, please. Okay, thank you. Wendy, go ahead. Solo voy a compartir. Your mom. Yes. Okay. Call me Picasso. Okay. We have Miss Picasso, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, La Bermeja Cemetery is located on Venezuela Boulevard. On the left side is the Women's Hospital. On the right side is a workshop. In front of the cemetery is a car crash. Around is the Cuscatlan Park between Rosales Hospital and La Bermeja Cemetery. So you left the Puma gas station. That's it. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any anybody else? Anybody else who wants to share the information about uh your your the, the workplace about the, the map you created? Let me see, there is somebody in the chat. Luis, I'm sorry, but we cannot listen to you clearly. Uh, Wendy, share the map. Okay, Wendy. Well, let me see. I have uh, 13 people connecting. And this is what we did, right? This is what we did. Okay, now it is supposed, so we, we hope you can describe the locations of, of me and other square place. Okay, that's, that's it, right? Now, uh, I will ask you, Mingua, um, Mingua, I checked the list of attendance. I will ask you to, to go over the platform, okay, and solve the exercises there. Voy a pasar lista, okay. Por favor, ahorita este, enfoquémonos en las actividades de, de la plataforma. Si no las hemos culminado, pues hagámoslas ahorita para que nuestro resultado final del curso nos favorezca en, en gran medida. By Atenas. Carlos Josué? Present teacher. Okay. Dennis Elizabeth? Edgardo Daniel? No. Edwin, I saw Edwin there. Ellen Nilsson? I didn't see Ellen Nilsson. No, he 
this is not here. So the news is missed classes tonight. Then we have Esperanza was there. I saw Esperanza. Evelyn Janira. Hello, Evelyn Janira. Fatima Michel. Gabriela Jasmine. Henry Giovanni. Okay, Henry Giovanni. Jennifer Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos Beltrán. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Iraeta. Okay, Julio. Carla Maria, is so Carla Maria there? Uh, Luis Jose is there? Ladies. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Jose there. Ove de Liaza. Wendy Carolina. Okay. Wendy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you. William Aristides. Jennifer Madali. Excellent, Jennifer. Jessica Noemi. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. A lot of people in the class. Okay, now just to start working in something that you will present tomorrow, I will share the link. Le voy a compartir en un, en un enlace para que empiecen a trabajar para hacer una pequeña presentación mañana. Se lo voy a compartir en el, en el chat. Si alguien puede compartir el enlace en WhatsApp, sería perfecto. Yes, I could, teacher. Eh, eh, tal vez lo pueden compartir ahí en WhatsApp. Ok, ok. Ok, so it there. Eso es un video, ok. Es un video en donde ustedes lo... Eh, van, a, van a extraer lo que ustedes consideren como más significativo. Ok, y pues nos lo van a presentar el día de mañana. Si gustan, pues se pueden empezar a trabajar en él. Ok. Para que este, aprovechemos el tiempo. Además de eso, si usted decide no trabajar en eso ahorita, pues tenemos las actividades de la plataforma. De hecho, pues vamos con, con ello ahorita mismo. Okay, so here. 
is the, 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 the homework number six, okay? Number 16, sorry. Now we have everybody, please do me the favor to go over your platform and complete the, the information. Okay, are you the party two? And we are giving three uh, prepositions, in, on, or, the, or at. Are you in the party two? Are you on the party two? Or are you at the party two? What's the best option there? On. On. Are you on the party? Are you sure? Are you on the party? In. In. Are you in the party? Well, we're gonna check it later, because I think. Uh, I, well, I will choose the one you said. You say in, right? Okay, in. We will check it later. I hope that uh, if we if we commit some mistakes, so they are gonna be uh, useful, so that we can have some review about it. Number two, the information is the top of the page. Uh, no, it's in. in in the top of the page. Uh. In number three, the dog sleeping the carpet. Uh, mm, I think we, uh, I think the video will be really nice uh, for you to have some review. Okay, you say that those sleeping, they say on, in, or at? At, at. You say at the carpet? Okay. Do you live a house or an apartment? In or at? <laughs> Um, do you live in or at a house or an apartment? Um, right. A little sorry. I don't know. She don't know. El, el, la tres es on, la cuatro es in, y la cinco es in. So the number four is in. Okay. Ay, and the perdón. Number, yeah, it's in, right? Yes. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Number five. In. In. He goes swimming in the river. And that's it. Now, hey, we're going to check it. We're going to check it. Okay, and we will see, mm -hmm. and we will see if we did it. Otherwise, you can solve it again. Now, wow, that was fantastic, right? Mm -hmm. Are you at the party? Actually, this was a mistake. Miren, por aquí nos equivocamos. Eh? Are you at the party? Como decir, at the party. Okay, in the party, uh -uh. Uh, at the party. The information is? Is at también. At. At. The top of the page. Tres is on. Uh, okay, number three is on, okay. On the carpet. Number four. Number is, four. Number four, four is, is, I live in a house. Yes, this is all right. And number six. Sit uh, in. He goes swimming in the river. Okay, so this is just for you to have uh, some extra information about it. De hecho, el video que les compartí tiene mucha información acerca de las preposiciones del lugar. Eh, espero que ya lo, lo, lo hayan podido visualizar. El video pues tiene bastante información. Y eh, 
pues tiene que estar preparados para el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Mañana vamos a seguir un, un poquito con, con, con la temática. Ok, este, espero que estén listos. Eh, por favor, recordar, trabajar en la plataforma, entrar a tiempo a las sesiones, eh, quedarse los 120 minutos, importantísimo. Ok, El, ayer estuve observando que hay algunos que todavía no han hecho las actividades y, este, y les aparece 0% de, de avance. A otros les ha aparecido un 9% de avance. Entonces, este es de, de, de suma importancia que puedan desarrollar las actividades. Por aquí tengo a Jennifer. Ok, Jennifer, Jennifer, ok. Ok, Jennifer, I got it. Ok, is there any question about it? Preguntas, comentarios. Yo tengo una pregunta. Aparte de lo que acabamos de hacer, ¿hay otras cosas que hay que hacer? Eh, sí, Jessica, para esta semana tenemos el examen final. Uh -huh. Y este, me gustaría que revisaran le, las secciones anteriores para ver si este, en efecto hemos completado todo, todas las actividades. Eso me encantaría y les aconsejaría que, que hicieran. Que revisen. Yo revisé, perdón, yo revisé y, y le pregunté a la persona encargada y me dijo que, que yo estaba bien, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, Jessica. Que tenía todas las actividades hechas. Ok, entonces mmm, no hay que no hay por qué preocuparse, ¿verdad? De hecho, pues, solo hay que cumplir entonces con las actividades de, de esta semana. Va. Thank you. Okay. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Este, eh, y así ahorita, ¿cómo me aparece a mí el 100%? Jennifer, permítame. Sí. Y no, no sé, he estado buscando a ver si encuentro más en la plataforma, pero no, no encuentro más. No sé si solo eso es. Permítame, quiero ver cómo está usted. Jennifer Hernández. Sentate. Fíjese que todavía no he actualizado. Hoy lo voy a actualizar, Jennifer. Y mañana con gusto le hago saber cuál es su porcentaje, ¿ok? Este, este, porque le voy a enviar una foto al chat que le acabo de tomar captura. Es que no, no hay algo más. O sea, ahí quedó la, la compañera donde le hice la captura. Ok, so, prácticamente lo, con lo que hay que cumplir son con los 120 minutos, la asistencia y este, todas las actividades de la plataforma. Usted se va, digamos, al, a la sección 1 y ahí, como ustedes han visualizado, todas las noches siempre nos vamos a la actividad de cada sesión. Solo parece que como a dos parece que no entramos. Pero casi siempre entramos en lo que yo paso lista, pues ustedes se quedan trabajando en la, en, lo, en la plataforma. Lo hago de esa manera para asegurarme pues que, que tengan por lo menos un espacio en la clase para que visualicen el ejercicio. Si lo gustan hacer durante la clase, perfecto, y si no, pues lo hacen luego, pero lo hago a modo de que lo, que lo recuerden también. O sea, que recuerden que ahí están esas actividades. De igual sí, manera, Luis. Eh, teacher, eh, yo la disculpa nuevamente, hasta ahorita voy llegando a casa. Este, con, lo, con respecto a lo de la tarea siempre de, de, del mapa y de donde uno labora, este, siempre eh, lo, lo vamos a entregar. Eh, bueno, yo ya estoy como que aún 
algo medio avanzado para, para entregarlo mañana. Espero en Dios ya entregarlo. Y al igual este, el otro que estaba pendiente, que es de los días de la semana, ¿verdad? De lo que uno hace en, en el labor, en, en los días de la semana, ¿verdad? Ese es otro que estaba pendiente. ¿verdad? Ok. Sí, este, la verdad que es recomendable que si todavía tienen actividades pendientes que las, que las puedan este, poner en práctica el tiempo pues del básico uno se está yendo nos queda solo que cuatro días más y ya ustedes ya no van a ser básico uno se van a, van a subir su, su primer peldaño y se van a enfrentar a, a otras situaciones a otro estilo de enseñanza, a otro docente, otros ejercicios, otra gramática, este, se vienen otras cosas, pues. Entonces, yo lo que quiero es que se vayan lo mejor preparados para lo que viene. Uh, no hay, no sé si hay... Ok, no sé si hay algún otro comentario o pregunta. Y si no, pues lo dejamos por acá y seguimos mañana. Y hey, felicito a Carlos, que Carlos, Carlos estuvo, estuvo practicando toda, toda la clase. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes tuvieron dificultades, que unos van de viaje, otros van pues ya llegando a la casa, otros que pasan por zonas que, en donde no hay internet y se les corta, pues yo lo entiendo, es un poco difícil, pero eh, siempre tratemos de dar este, ese plus, hay un plus que todo ser humano puede dar, es es la mía extra que decimos. De hecho, ustedes la están dando hoy, cada noche la dan ustedes. Esa mía extra. Y los felicito. Pero necesito que este, participemos más activamente. Ya solo nos quedan cuatro sesiones. Y espero que a partir de mañana, pues, pues las cosas pues, sean, más, la interacción sea mucho más efectiva. Ok, let's see tomorrow. Uh, good night. Evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Okay, good night.